Today is a special anniversary for one of the world's most famous planes. And you can join a special celebration in McMinnville. We are on the go with Joe at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. He's learning all about the legendary Spruce Goose. Hi, Joe. Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, I'm joined right now by uh, Tyson Weinert and Terry Howell. They are the uh, CEO and the general manager of the Evergreen, Evergreen Aviation Space uh, Museum. And we're up here on the upper levels because this is the only place where you can take in the entire, well, I guess one half of the view of the legendary Spruce Goose. Of course, this is... Uh, the plane legendarily that Howard Hughes built uh, during World War II. It didn't actually fly in World War II. It actually flew one time in 1947 on this very date, right? Tyson, tell us about the significance of this day and how you're commemorating that here at the museum. Thank you so much, Joe. Uh, we are thrilled to welcome everybody that can make it today to help us celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Spruce Goose's first and only flight. Howard Hughes is famous for liking to make surprises he went out that day on November 2nd, 1947 in Long Beach Harbor, and he was meant just to do two water taxis. He ended up doing a third and surprised the world by showing the world that this amazing American icon and mechanical, mechanical engineering marvel could in fact actually fly. So what will be happening today here at the museum? Well, today we have a series of events uh, to welcome everybody and to educate everybody as to the history of the aircraft itself, no, formerly known as the Hughes Flying Boat. Um, we'll have a chance to celebrate really uh, uh, a collection of events that are happening together. So today marks the actual date of the Spruce Goose's first and only flight. Um, and also this year is the 30th year that the Spruce Goose has moved from Long Beach to Mc, Mc, McMinnville, okay, Oregon. Before we wrap up, real quickly, can you tell us the time, Terry, when, when all this will be happening? There's a documentary screening and, and an event that starts this afternoon, right? Yes, indeed. So at 9 o'clock, we open the doors, but we really kick off the event at 1 o'clock with the screening of a uh, documentary by Peter Dibble. That'll be over in our giant screen theater, and then we'll move over here, and there'll be a reenactment of a radio transmission between here and Culver City, and then we'll be wrapping up with the other events throughout the day. And should mention today, half-price admission, so you can come on down, see the goose in person, so speaking of which, coming up a little bit later in the show, guys, we're going to take you right next to it, take you inside the cockpit even of the legendary plane. We'll have a lot more coming your way from the Evergreen Museum in just a bit. Let's send it back to you in the studio. So exciting. I can't wait, Joe. Thank you.